Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Twitter is a really good place for you to stay up to date with what your friends are doing if they're on Twitter. It's a great place for you to keep your friends up to date if you're on Twitter. And, of course, it's a great chance to meet people you otherwise would never have met. It's nice when someone follows you, especially if you know them. But even if you don't know them and they start following you, you want to know everything about them to see if you might want to follow them back. Now, I have approximately 40,000 followers at this point in time. I reached that number late last night. Yay, me! I mean, it's not a numbers game. I happen to believe in reciprocity with Twitter, so I will follow you if you follow me there. I'm at Chris Perillo on Twitter.com. The uh, idea of following someone is that you can stay up to date with what they're tweeting. It's nice that Twitter notifies you by email when someone new starts to follow you, but they don't really give you a lot of information about that person. Uh, they just say, hey, this person's following you. You get a link directly to their profile, and that's just about it. So, uh, a few of us have been wanting more from Twitter in terms of the information we get when someone new starts following us. And last night, I discovered a new service that has been working out oh so nicely. It's called Twemailer, or Twemailer, T-W-I, Mailer.com, and the website's right here. They've got a video demonstration. I mean, you could watch the video demonstration, but essentially this is what you do. You go here, you type in your email address, the email address that you have associated with your Twitter account. It will send you a verification. Then you use that email address that they give you as your new Twitter email address. Why would you do that? Because the notifications you will then receive when someone new starts following you are so much richer with information. So uh, if I zoom in here to show you, let me turn off the second monitor, be a little cleaner. Uh, looks like this person started following me. Uh, I get their last 10 tweets, date, timestamps, and everything. I find out how many they're following, how many followers they have, uh, the name, location, web, bio, all the information I would have to go to the web to discover is now delivered directly to my inbox for free thanks to Twimailer or Twimailer, Twimailer, however you want to say it. Uh, I guess scroll up here. Looks like uh, Michael W. And if any anybody out there is now following me on Twitter, it will actually notify me in email if anybody is watching, hasn't started following me on Twitter, then they would get pulled up here in a matter of minutes. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking here. Oh, it looks like an interesting person. Uh, he's following 30. He's got 17 followers. Uh, Southwest-ish. There's his website. It tells me a little bit more about him. Rich information, including a link, of course, to their profile. And an avatar. I love looking at people's avatars. I like films. He's apparently following me now. I like films.com. Let's see here. What else do we have? Teach a lot 84. All right. Not exactly the most interesting tweets. Tacos for supper. Yum. Uh, but, you know, it's, you can't really, uh, stop people from tweeting what they're eating. Eat tweeting, tweeting, tweet, T-W-E-A-T-I-N-G, tweeting, hmm, interesting. I'm sure someone's going to develop a new service around that anyway. So if you are on Twitter, I would recommend using Twimailer, uh, largely because of the information that is automatically surfaced, saves you a click, saves you several clicks, and gives you just everything that you want to know about a new follower. Unless, of course, you were already following them already and you know everything about them and they start following you and you're like, oh my god, I've been a fan of yours for years. Ah! Twimailer.com My email address is chris at perillo.com and, of course, you know you can follow me on Twitter as was keyed in by Frank there a couple seconds ago. Chris Perillo over there. Go figure. Pretty creative name. Then, of course, I'm over on geeks.perillo.com. I've actually included my Twitter stream in my profile over there in that little social network for technologists like you and me. And if you happen to be geeky, well, then you're probably going to enjoy the chat room, especially when we're not moderated. We had to turn on the moderated bit a couple of minutes ago because there were some kids who thought this was their playground and they were kind of being stupid, so we, you know, had to kind of say, okay, you can't talk right now. But if you, you come in frequently, then you get what is called voice, so you get to talk even when we are moderated. It's kind of a special privilege for people who participate in our community on a regular basis. Hmm? Huh? Is this tantalizing at all? Okay. Well, do you like to talk about technology, hardware, software, services, doesn't matter? Then you're more than welcome to stop by. We've got the chat room open, including... This live video feed, even if I'm not here in this chair, the chat room is certainly a part of the video. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.